You can find them on your Whole Foods. Whole Foods, which announced earlier. GGG needs like a Beyond Meat affiliate link. <laughs> get, 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 get 5%, <laughs> 5 off, your, off. off your burgers and 2GG makes a cut. Shout out to Smith Space. There is a 10% off Smith Space orders with the Smith Space link. I do love his clothing. I might hit up that link myself. <laughs> Try not to look like a generic white guy. So. <laughs> hey, man, don't worry, man. We, sometimes we all like to, you know, kick back in our own clothing. That's true. Nothing wrong with true. that. Speaking of kicking back, we're going to see a lot of canines back air kicking back towards Nido's. Nido, right? Nido. 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 Nido's Ken. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. An okay. Exceptional start. This is what, K9 as I told you guys, he's looking at Larry's secret sauce out here, and he's trying to pull it out here against Nido. And Nido even told him earlier, whatever whatever Larry did to me, I want you to do the same. They spoke to each other pre-stream. Pre so Nido is looking for a real fight here, and K9 is looking to deliver. Yeah, so far Nito is you know, obviously pretty down, but I, you can kind of tell he's like, okay, okay, I get it. I'm, I'm playing Kanan now, grounded himself a little bit, and now we see a little more back and forth, a little more even gameplay. Yeah, and Kanan's gameplay kind of goes back, harkens back to how he used to play Diddy way back in Smash 4. Yeah, he yeah. would stand there menacingly and waiting for his opponent to flinch, then follow up with a confirm. Look at the spacing that you can see you here. You see those menacing kanji on the, <laughs> on the opposite side of the stage. And the, the patience paid off. He got the up tilt for the stock. Yeah, I'm. I'm curious. I, I was just kind of like thinking, how how is, how is, oh my god, I already forgot. Nito, Nito, right? Right, right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say Nito. I'm like, oh god, I'm gonna do it again. How? What? Is, what is? Oh, okay. I was Dancing with the say, stars. What is Nito's game plan? Well, there's part of it. Big foot to the nose. That's animal abuse. I'm not gonna lie, but man. I'd be careful with those feet. They smell. They've been traveling the world. They've been sitting on a stadium. Yeah, I wonder if Ken cleans his feet like canonically. Like what? I, I, what the the, you the know foot what, lore is? So he's a million. He's a millionaire. So I feel like he does. He he pays somebody to do it, right? Yeah, <laughs> his feet are crisp. He eats Ken, off. Of Rio, his on feet. the other hand, that man is a nomad. Yeah, he's got dirty feet. That's kind of it's kind of like a like a smooth brain, wrinkly brain, <laughs> right? Clean feet, dirty feet. I hope it clips his toenail at least. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, what's it to Wolf, right? A space pirate out there for the bounty. He's got def definitely got his sights set on one of the best Shotos out here, and that's Ken. Wow. I, I love Nito's. Oh, watch like, the shield. I just his choices he's making are so clean. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just like, you're here, I'm doing, like, I don't know, just not even necessarily leading to a follow-up, but just, like, kind of defensive gameplay where he's, yeah. like, stuffing approaches really nicely. Exactly. And that's for K9 to also understand spacing. I like it. He comes in with an aerial, stops himself. He sees the focus attack. Forcing low recovery there with Blaster. Yep. I felt like he was looking for the read on the roll. Oh, this was K9's game, or, or but it's frame on the F tilt. Yeah. This is K9's game to lose it, but a great space for it. Tilt puts Nito off the stage, looking for the nair, Ooh. but he doesn't sense it yet. That would have been cute if that gimped him. I see why he went for it. Okay. Mm -hmm. 119. Anyone from New England knows that's 119. Blessed is probably one person and in the chat. Oh. Knows what we're talking about. Shout outs to my man, Hero from New England. Uh, He's oh, a good friend Hero. of mine. Yeah, yeah Hero is I a, Hero. Yeah, I love Hero, dude. He's a great guy. I haven't seen him in a minute. One night, she told me 119 Bless, 119 Cursed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Goes both ways. Sure okay. you, yep. Sure you coming through. And now, you know, look at look at that first stock, that first, let, let's say, 20 seconds. Nido was at, oh, Nido. Mm -hmm. I'm going to mess it up 100 more times, and I'll get it right. Nido was at, like, 126, really far down. And now, look at this, we got an even game. Yeah. Really smart. A, uh, adapting and just general awareness. Oh, did oh he hold the right DI? God. Yes, he did. He, okay. did. he did. He did. He did. Got the DI. Let's see how he. Uh, and yeah, that's that's a tough thing to. It's it's kind of scary to edge guard against Wolf when you don't have like a disjoint or projectile because if you get hit with that side B, you're going flying. Oh, that was a risky dash attack too. Dash attack won't cross up. Look at this. Both players oh, no. really Kanan. playing patiently. Yeah, and, but I feel like Kanan's losing the patience. That's two risky dash attacks. <sighs> oh, just missed that. And nearly gets... Okay, good good, good for a smash. I respect it because if Nito did overextend, he oh would have ate God. that one. Just na like th these hurt boxes off Wolf are like... No, it just seems... It's like almost luck. It's like so many things are just missing the hitbox on Wolf's hurt box. Mm -hmm. Forward tilt. He puts Nito off the stage. I like it. He doesn't send those nares just yet. He's been so close to them. He's got to watch himself on the landing here. Okay. Especially on the aerials. We did see Nito go for a Shoryu at the ledge because he saw K9's back airs. He wanted yeah, to call trying, him out. Trying to call it out, exactly. 
Oh, oh my god. Oh my. No, I like it. He those are so stressful to me. It's like, oh my <laughs> god, anyone can do anything right now. Okay, Nito actually taking game one, and uh, like I was saying, that that first stock was really in K9's favor, but Nito going like, okay, now like he must have been kind of taking some amount of mental notes. Exactly. Going, okay, what what is K9 doing? What is he comfortable with? How is he getting back on stage? And then just slowly worked his way back. Yeah, he. So the reason why they kind of had a shield standoff there is because K9 knows the frame rate in which you drop your shield. There's about three frames of shield right. drop in this game. You don't want to go for a shield grab. That's one of the worst options of the game now compared to Smash 4. Right, yeah. So he kind of said, you know what, when are you going to give up shield and you let me know? <laughs> and I never yeah. let him know either. Game 2 starting out like Game 1 did after Nito took 126 damage. It's both just kind of a little bit back and forth. K9 starting to get some momentum now. Okay. Let's see how he handles this edge guard. Get up attack. Pushing through, and K9, you can, can see him taking a little more reserved approach now. He he, he kind of gave Nito stage again uh, in favor of just being able to shoot some blasters and just have have more spacing because this is you know Ken has you know I guess Wolf does too, but both play, both characters have such strong burst options. You really have to be able to play around more spacing than you think you might initially need. Oh, and speaking of the spacing right there, that's what K9 was looking for against Nido. And then both players trying to hold on the neutral with spacing. Nido was trying to test K9, and K9 finally understood, okay, you know what, I see where my throw tilt's going to do the work here, and I'll find it there. Tries to get him on the mix-up on the DI yeah, the here. turnarounds, yeah, exactly. Okay, so nah, still living. Will third time be the charm? I feel like we'll see one more. Oh, missed the grab. I, yep, third time's charm. Yeah. <laughs> and at the high percent, too, at the ledge, K9 will falter. Yep. Okay. You can see K9 has kind of not necessarily completely correct reads all the time, but he, he has a really good idea of what Nito's trying to go for, but it's just getting, uh, getting hit first. Mm -hmm. And so it's almost like K9 needs to keep the same mindset, but just go for the options a little sooner sometimes. Tell, this is kind of we're kind of going back to how game one went, right? K9 was so close against Nito, Nito just kind of able to clutch out a situation in neutral, and that causes K9 to lose stocks. So I feel like K9 has to kind of hold himself back from going things like dash tag. Coming in with Nair, that's a change up because usually we do see him that dash tag from the ledge. Oh will smash, and that'll Lord. take the regular getup. I I mean I, I think it, you know in that third person view, it's like wow, how did that happen? But mm -hmm. I, think, I think K9 like started getting up at the, or sorry, excuse me, Nito started getting up at the same time yes. that K9 started charging. So it's just like super good call out, super good read. And it's really good because it also reads roll get up. So if Nito did for jump, uh, any kind right. of get up option. Right, both sides, yep. Okay, K9 looking at this. I like it. angle the shield because the shield, yep. I love it, dude. He's showing signs of adaptation and change up. Yeah, not enough people tilt shield, I feel like. Oh, it's so good in It's the so game. good. It's so good to do. And they made it easier to do it in the game. Now you can just hold the B button or both shield buttons if you have two shield buttons yep, together. Yep. Okay. Quick 36% here. Corner carry in. Ooh. Nice. Good good use of empty hops here. Doesn't want to commit by going for a dash track anymore. Yeah, those empty hops, Nita must be looking at them. And they're like, okay, here comes the Nair maybe, but you know, mm -hmm. the empty hop. It's just surprise. Speaking of surprise, that sure you. Pretty much evening things out. Forty percent is not a lot in this matchup. Yeah, that nice good fourth out of shield. Kind of a get off me option here. Switches sides here, but Nito will carry him to the to the center stage. Ooh. Okay, nice nice use of the focus. I think that's what Kingdom was looking for here. As we saw the cross up with dash attack, late on the shield allows the cross up. Oh, that double, the double dip there. Oh, wow. Oh. He <laughs> it's because K he knows K9's been going for Nair. He's right. been going for landing yeah, Nair. And generally he aggressive choices, so why not? Save the, save the jump. There you go. Even game yet again. Last stock, last hit situation. This has been the story of K9's life against Nito. Can he finally clutch wow. it up? But he reads the jump in once more. Nito Big punch. With the call out. Dang. K9. He had the right Not options, though. Go for Blaster. Go for Forward Tilt. Those were great choices that were working.